Hi, Virian. Um, a number of our clients are now talking to us around the, the growing trend for healthier eating in the fresh produce space, where consumers are are consuming products raw that previously they would have cooked, whether it's in snacks or uh, or in drinks such as smoothies, as an example. Could you share some some of your tips and some of your experiences around how growers should respond to this growing trend, particularly from a food safety perspective? Great question. So there are many ways to look at this from a technical perspective. Um, if they're choosing to grow products that can be eaten raw, they've really got to ensure that their teams are educated on the risks associated with growing product that can be eaten raw and not further processed. Um, and ideally have an experienced technical resource to support. They should be certified by an appropriate assurance scheme, which uh, stipulates the requirements to enable the production of safe produce, such as Red Tractor in the UK or Global Gap. And that will inform uh, a thorough risk assessment um, which is imperative to understand how the product will be used um, and the growing practices and inputs. For example, you know, really simple things, but, you know, that might go amiss. Don't use untreated farmyard manure on um, crops that are going to be eaten raw or uh, grow close to the ground because that's going to, you know, um, give some significant risk of microbiological contagion, which serious foodborne illnesses such as E. coli. Um, Irrigation water, another one that sometimes can fly, fly under the radar. You know, think about your irrigation practice. Don't over water, don't overhead water lettuce, for example. Um, and if you're using a river source, absolutely don't use that for lettuce because you don't know what's happening higher up the stream. Um, there could be um, livestock that have contaminated the water. Um, and then if you're irrigating a, a crop that's potentially not going to be um, washed before it's eaten. You've got another significant microbial issue. Um, I think growers need to look at their cropping locations. Um, again, ideally don't plant a, cro a, a crop that's not going to be further processed where you know you've got a large number of birds because we've got an E. coli 147 um, possibility in there. And obviously, you know, the obvious like food safety training and um, ensuring that all harvesting equipment is clean to um, protect against any further contamination. Um, commercially, um, you know, growers need to be sure what the market is looking for um, and are they in an area that's suitable to grow the products that um, uh, the market's looking for. Speak to potential customers. Um, can you secure an MPD program? Undertake plenty of trials prior, you know, commencing a new crop to ensure that they can grow it all to specification and speak to other growers, work with breeders um, and do lots of testing around that. Fantastic. That, that's really insightful. So if I summarised it, it would be about using a recognised accreditation body, doing a thorough risk assessment, staff training, and probably bringing in a, a food specialist at an early stage to help advise them and help them get there quickly. Absolutely. Absolutely critical. And never, be, never be afraid to ask what you de deem to be the stupid question, because they're the really good ones. Yeah, totally agree. Fantastic. Virian, that's great. Thank you very much. Thanks, Mark.